we're recognizing Michael Aller with our uh, Patrick Ward Angel Award for his uh, years of dedication to the LGBT and arts community. Uh, and then we're having our opening name. Michael Aller, Mr. Miami Beach. Yes, Mr. Miami Beach, heard regularly on uh, Arch Beat. That's right. Um, and a great friend to the community. Um, so we're uh, we're kicking it off at the Gustavan, and then we're moving over to the Kalix Gustav Gallery in Wynwood for our opening night gala party. Um, the Kalix Gustav Gallery, fantastic new venue, directly across the street from the Rubel Collection, um, for a very exciting party with... Um, art that has a queer sensibility, wonderful food, and drinks, um, a great way to start off our 10 days. And what, um, are there tickets still available for opening night? Because I know that it does, it has sold out in the past, but there are available tickets. Yep, absolutely. Tickets are available on our website, mglff.com, uh, for opening night and all of our films. Uh, and for our opening and closing films, both of which are at the Gusman, uh, you can buy tickets at the Ticketmaster outlet right in front of the Gusman. Oh, very good. And what about because um, I know you have some membership uh, opportunities or, you know, packages that you can get. Is there one that's, you know, if somebody's going to see, I don't know, let's say three or four films, is it worth it to get sort of a membership type of thing? Absolutely. Our membership is uh, it's really great. It starts off very affordable at $50 for basic membership. Students and seniors can get a membership for $20. Uh, it gets you discounted tickets, uh, which certainly gets to be uh, quite a large saving if you're buying a number of films. Mm-hmm. Um, and the levels go up from there. Some levels of membership have complimentary tickets associated with them, uh, priority line entrance, uh, ultra VIP treatment for our producer circles who mm-hmm. are upper echelon members. What and, level is that? Do you know the... Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, our producer circle starts at our director level, which is $1,000 annually and up. Perfect. I'm going to start saving for next year. Absolutely. Please do. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you the velvet glove treatment. <laughs> Well, you've got so many things, and, you know, time is always limited when we're doing these sorts of interviews. So tell me about some of the great shows that are coming. I know you've got a couple of things that I want to hear about, but if we go through the list, we've done opening night, you've got a great party. What would be the next great film you want to talk about after opening night? Uh, It's really exciting to say it's very difficult to make recommendations this year because there's so many good stuff. So short of saying you should spend all 10 days in the movie theater. Uh, (laughs) A a couple of ones I really recommend for a little bit of light, fluffy entertainment is The People I Slept With, a uh, a fantastic uh, independent comedy by Quentin Lee uh, starring the adorable and talented Wilson Cruz. Uh, and certainly a big mainstream fair um, appeal to it. Uh, that's showing on Saturday, April the 24th. Uh, on Sunday, April the 25th, we have the North American premiere of El Consul de Sodoma. It is a film from Spain um, about a highly regarded uh, Spanish poet um, and his, like like every literary figure, his tortured life. Mm. Um, I certainly uh, I certainly suggest catching that. Uh, very excited with Francois Ozon's Hideaway. Um, Ozon is a fantastic filmmaker, um, and he comes in with uh, he just pulls all the uh, uh, all the punches actually, <laughs> uh, in a very uh, very surprising way. Uh, so Hideaway is a fantastic film. Uh, gosh, it's it's really hard. We have Tilda Swinton in I Am Love, a really wonderful film that has her acting in Italian for the entire film. I think it's her first foreign language performance. Um, and that's going to be coming out uh, in theaters across the country in the summer, but this is a sneak peek. Oh, really? Yeah. So there, there's a couple that'll that'll be making its way out. Um, and where will we know Tilda from? Tilda. Uh, Tilda. Tilda Swinton. You'll know her from, uh, gosh, you'll know her from Orlando, which is kind of where she first made a big splash on the scene, certainly for the uh, LGBT community, when she kind of first appeared on everybody's radar. Uh, and in the last couple of years, Burn After Reading, uh, Michael Clayton, she won an Academy Award for uh, and of course, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, the Chronicles of Narnia. Yes, now you've got me. <laughs> yes. That woman. That woman. That was the year when she won the Academy Award. Everybody went, who? Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. She's a really fantastic actress. She has red hair, right? She or, does. Yeah. Red hair, alabaster skin. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. a presence on the screen. Uh, and she's really remarkable, and I am love. Um, and it's a film that, uh, and we have this a couple of times in the festival, the films that are. Um, the queer content or the LGBT content is uh, minimal or secondary to the storyline, but the appeal is uh, unique to the LGBT community. I Am Love is a perfect example of that. And I do want to mention that you have a lot of uh, trailers and uh, video clips online at your website, which is mgllff.com. 
Did I get that right? Yep, you got that absolutely right. You can see trailers for all our films, uh, read full synopsis, buy tickets, and actually even uh, it's interactive. You can leave comments. I was going to say, I really actually wanted to give you kudos for your website. It really uh, is great. Thank you. For those reasons, that it's very easy to uh, maneuver. You've got the video clips, and I haven't left a comment, but I didn't realize you could do that, so I'll have to leave some anonymous comments (laughs) about how much I love it. I hope so. I hope so. Um, how much you're looking forward to it. I am. Well, tell us more. I mean, there's so many films coming, and, and I want to hear um, about what else you have on store. It's a, Yeah, it's it's a really rich program, uh, I have to say. I'm really also um, looking forward to the soft floor reaction to Prodigal Sons. It's a really wonderful documentary uh, by Kimberly Reed, just featured on Oprah a few weeks ago, um, about a small-town football star uh, who comes back to his small Montana community as Kimberly Reed, uh, having transitioned in the decade or two decades since he'd been away. Um, and his relationship, uh, a bigger part of her relationship with um, her brother, an estranged relationship, and a fascinating connection to old Hollywood that you completely do not expect. Um, it's something that everybody will really enjoy, and I think it's uh, it's not only thought-provoking um, about familial relationships, uh, but it's just fascinating <laughs> at every turn. What day is that uh, showing? That's Friday, April 30th, uh, showing at FIU North uh, at 745. Excellent.